Welcome back, people. Uh, it's been 10 months since I've upgraded my early 2011 MacBook Pro. And a lot of you guys have submitted questions, and I want to do a follow-up, and I'll do a Q&A on this. And I'll read out your uh, questions, and I'll try to answer it to the best that I can. To recap, I upgraded this MacBook Pro with new RAM memory, uh, SSD drive, and I installed a new battery on this because my old battery died. So you're still wondering how this is running and if you should upgrade your old MacBook, whether it's a 2010, 11, 12, 13, whatever it is, or even older model. And you can make your own decision whether you want to upgrade or buy a new MacBook Pro. But first off guys, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit that 1000 mark uh, subscriber on my channel. So help me out, give it a like and subscribe. Alright, first question on this. Uh, how is the battery working and how is the upgrade? Is it worth it? Well, it's been 10 months, right? And you'll see up here the battery is working great. Uh, I've used this laptop over the last 10 months on a daily basis and uh, the battery has kept up really well. So, so is this upgrade worth it so far? I think it's definitely uh, worth it. I spent what under $200 just to upgrade this old MacBook. I was so close to buying a new one and this is running super fast. I can do all my work on it. Watch uh, videos, edit videos, you can do all the stuff to it and it's working perfectly. There's no glitches uh, that I haven't seen. I upgraded to the latest uh, Mac OS. It has Siri on it, it has all this stuff. So I'm super happy with it. And you guys are asking how much did all of this cost? Um, well, I said right here, I spent under $200 on this upgrade and all I did was, you know, memory. Uh, I didn't go for the max, which is 16 gigabytes. I went for uh, 8 gigabytes, 2 by 4 And I got the solid state drive by Western Digital. You know, 250 gigabytes here. And then I just bought the battery. And that's like well under $200. I left some links in my description here if you want to read it. And I show everything here. You know, here's uh, the upgrade for Western Digital. Here's the uh, RAM. Here's the battery. And I do recommend replacing the battery if you've had your MacBook as long as I have since 2011. You know, just replace the battery. You get a fresh new one and uh, or recharge and it'll work great. And then you just need memory. You just need a uh, drive. That's all you need. All right, the next question. A lot of you guys were asking about your MacBook Pro because you have a 2010. Um, you don't have a 2011. Uh, a lot of people have 2012s. You know, uh, what I did before... I did my upgrade was I researched my Mac and you know, go up here to um, the Apple symbol go to about this Mac and you'll see your specs on this Mac right here um, my MacBook says you know it says right here 13 inch early 2011 processor 2.3 gigahertz uh, i5 memory well this is a new one 8 gigabytes uh, 1333 megahertz of uh, DDR3 and uh, my graphics card here 512 megabytes so here's the thing, I'm going to uh, search for 2010, right? I'm going to put MacBook Pro 2010 specs. Boom! What's the first thing here? Uh, you just click on this link. It even talks about it right here, what it all has. So click on this link, scroll down, and uh, here's all the specs for it. This is the exact spec for your MacBook Pro 2010. Here's the RAM right here. See? For this 2010, it uses a 1066 megahertz DDR3. So if I were to upgrade this, I would stick with the 1066 still. Unless it says what the maximum that you could go up to. I don't know if it can support 1333, but I would go with the 1066 to be safe. DDR3 you can stick with. And then it says it right here, right? Maximum RAM. You can go up to 16 gigabytes. I believe mine right now, right here for the 2011, I can also do a max of 16 gigabytes. Use Google. Google is the best tool for looking up all your specs on your MacBook before you do an upgrade. If you're if you're worried about anything, you know. And this is exactly what I did. I looked up my specs. I looked up um, what I can upgrade it to. But then I also, when I took out my RAM, you'll see in the previous video, I looked at what that previous RAM was and it said 1333 megahertz. So I was like, all right, I could just go up to eight gigabytes because my old one was four gigabytes. And eight is perfect for me for the work I'm doing. Um, a lot of you guys want to do heavy video editing or gaming or whatever, right? Well, actually you can't do too much gaming on this because it's only a 512 um, megabytes 
uh, graphics card. Gaming now, I think, takes like at least two gigabytes of graphics card, or even four now gigabytes of graphics card. So, but anyways, this is just an average MacBook that you want to uh, do school work on, you want to edit videos, or you want to do YouTube stuff on it, right? I think all you need is eight gigabytes and an SSD drive. So there you go, guys. Google MacBook Pro your year specs. So you got to do. Next question, it's a pretty good one. Um, some of you were, were asking if I enabled trim on my SSD drive. If some of you guys don't know what trim does, it just makes your SSD drive more optimized so it can run longer. Uh, uh, SSD drives won't last forever. They'll, they'll slowly uh, degrade. I didn't enable trim on my SSD drive that I installed. And here's why. Uh, with a regular SSD drive that you're buying, um, and if you're using it heavily every single day like what I'm doing, uh, it will last over 10 years and I don't think I'm going to have this MacBook for another 10 years. So I didn't enable trim but a lot of you guys can. There is a software out there called Trim Enabler. You can search that up. Right here, Trim Enabler. And uh, you know you can install this software and um, enable trim on your SSD. SSD drives aren't like hard drives. Uh, they're pretty much like flash um, stick drives. Picture like a bunch of flash drives in here stacked together and they're just optimized to run pretty fast. And so trim just really makes it run a little bit more efficient. So this upgrade was just good enough for me for another couple of years, uh, five years, eight years, whatever. Um, but like I said, it'll work up to 10 years, these SSD drives, pretty much, unless you do something crazy with it. And uh, some of you guys were picking up that I was saying solid state hard drive instead of solid state drive, which is what it is, SSD for solid state drive. Uh, my bad, uh, but you know, I pretty much uh, figured you guys are smart enough to figure it out. I just call everything a hard drive, like this little hard drive right here. And this hard drive right here that I use for my Canon camera. By the way, if you're using a Canon um, SLR, just buy the Extreme version or the Super Extreme or the Infinity War Extreme. They're a lot faster. Always disconnect the battery first, even dead. Yes. Uh, if you guys want to be super safe and not stupid like I did, disconnect the battery first before doing anything. Follow that guy's tip right there. Can the memory upgrade to eight gigabytes by two? Uh, what he's asking here is, um, I upgraded mine to eight gigabytes and it was two by four. And he's wondering if he can upgrade his to uh, 16 gigabytes by using two 8 gigabyte because you know 8 plus 8 equals 16 and yes uh, I looked up the specs on most of these MacBooks these old MacBooks here um, 2010 2011 you can upgrade your RAM to a maximum of 16 gigabytes and uh, you can use two uh, 8 gigabyte cards so that is possible damn that burrito looks good as fuck. I know right this Jamba Juice looks good too Why not just buy a recent model? All right, so, um, and I'm gonna go to Amazon here and type up MacBook Pro 13 inch. And here is a MacBook Pro 13 inch, the newest one, for $1,149. So, you guys do the math. If you wanna buy a new one for $1,149, or you wanna upgrade for under $200, and it works super fast perfectly fine do all of your editing do any work you want on it for under two hundred dollars can I video edit on this MacBook Pro yes I can and I will show you guys right now on editing a short little video clip right here I'll do a really quick video edit of this uh, trim it really quick export it and um, show you guys the results just really quick uh, nothing too special and this is what I use right here, uh, Final Cut Pro.
Uh, one of you guys were asking what cam I'm using. Uh, I'm using a GoPro uh, Hero 5. I'm using a chest mount on this, which is why it looks this way. I'll leave a link in the description to um, the chest mount for it and my uh, GoPro 5 that I'm using. And uh, I'll lay out the specs on uh, what I'm filming it at right now too. So there you go, um, my Q&A on this. And I uh, hope that helped you guys out on determining whether you want to upgrade your MacBook Pro or if you want to shell out, you know, over a thousand dollars for a new MacBook. It's up to you. The new MacBooks look pretty cool too. You know, it has the touch bar. Um, they have the air one that's thin. Uh, I think this one's fine for me. And once again, guys, thanks for watching and give it a like, subscribe. Help me hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. And I will see you guys later. Peace. Check out my new decals I got for this MacBook. Staff Punk. Awesome.